global Germany. What up, guys? I'm Bart Kwan. My name's Demi. Hi, my name is Red. My name is Anna. Today, we'll be reacting to gym fitness fail. In fact. Okay, so we got a guy with a deadlift suit on. He seems like he's setting up. He looks pretty confident. Whoa, ammonia. Ooh, I never even tried that before. But it seems like it works. All right, so he got a suit on. He got ammonia, so he's ready to go. He's ready to rock and roll. No shoes, don't give a fuck, who cares? He can do it. Oh. Ah, ah. Whoa! <laughs> He's riding a horse now. Okay. Yeah, we're stuck in the knee. Oh. More? Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, my God. He's actually going to finish? He needs more. Yeah. Damn. What's in that ammonia? Barba Brigade ammonia coming soon, baby. Whatever that ammonia is, I'm assuming it just gives him the boost of power in three tries. Nice, I like that. Would you oh, wait, would that be a gym fail? Because they got it. All right, so if that was at a competition, first of all, I think there's all kinds of things that are wrong. He doesn't even have shoes on. You can't be hitching like crazy. You can't be riding a horse. And then he also has seat belts for straps. So, Things are just all wrong in here. It's definitely three red lights. Unless it's a Barbell Brigade mock meet, then probably three white lights, because we like to party. Ooh, bench. Okay. We're at a gym, like um, a global gym. Oh my God, a bench one. What kind of lift off was that? It was just like... Okay. <gasps> I don't even know what to say here. Holy shit, did he just like let it go? Oh god damn, what is that? Like 295? I forgot two plates and a 35 on there. That's pretty strong. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the fuck? They just dropped it? Oh no, that was crazy. Oh my God. So that's why they tell you not to do uh, that suicide grip because I guess you can die from it. But when you do close grip with suicide, it just feels so good. Oh, I want to watch it again because I want to see whose fault it is, but I hate bench fails because of this reason. Oh my gosh. In the beginning, you can tell this guy did not know what he was doing with the lift off because initially he was just like, that, good thing he still had it, so he retried it again, and even the second time he was just like, here you go, bro, you can do it. Oh my God, that is terrifying. It's just, it's bad, because my husband bench is super heavy, and I've always been scared for him to, for this to happen to him, and, but he's, he, he obviously knows how to properly lift. I'm not saying this guy didn't, and again, I don't want to watch it again because I just hate watching stuff like this. Uh, hopefully his chest is okay, his, his neck and everything else. However, I want to say that was maybe the spotter's fault. Um, and maybe it could be an ego lift as well. So maybe the lifter, but everything hand in hand, both of these guys should not be together lifting together. Oh, I hate, uh, I'm scared. Uh, squats scare me. This is why I don't squat. This is, yeah. Fuck, that bar's bending hard. Is that bar bent or is that like a, a buffalo bar? Hella weight though. Oh damn, he hits depth. Oh, got the mark belt nicely. What, is it bending while he's lifting? What the fuck? That just became a duffler bar real quick. What the hell? Bro, what are you gonna do? Oh my god, he can't even re-rack it. This is the only time where I would say it'd be best if he did not have clips. Whoa, 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 shit. Damn. If you ever see a barbell for sale for $28, it's probably not gonna last very long. And I'm just happy he's alive because that thing could have straight snapped in half, could have turned into like a sharp point, like a chicken bone, you know, and bounce off something and stab him. That was crazy. I was actually really scared, but he is strong though. He squats better than me and he actually hits death unlike me, so I can't say shit. Oh, cool, strong man. 
Nice, okay. This is, um, he's the stone. I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> no, no. <sighs> oh my God, I hate, I hate, oh my God. See, this is why I don't do strongman. Because of that. What if, what if my knees bend backwards? They're not supposed to bend backwards. Okay, strongman. Got the big Atlas stones, putting it on that podium. Uh-oh. Oh, then he's gonna make it or not? I think, oh, uh, that's, oh, what the fuck? Dude, did that fool just pass out? That's the first time where I'm like, oh shit, so that's what calf raises are for? He was literally an inch away from putting the stone away, but if he would have done more calf raises instead of making fun of them, like how everyone does online, he would have put it in but then he ended up passing out. Wow. Oh, strong man. So we got the steel. Uh, sorry, we got the stone on platform. <gasps> oh no. Oh, he doesn't look like he's getting close to being up. He, is he knocked out? Strong man's scary. We just had a strong man meet at Barbell recently. And uh, one of our employees like tore his hand open real bad and almost tore his bicep at the same time. It's a scary sport, but hey, hats off to the people that do it. Oh, damn, we got some old school squatters. What? Wait, what is he doing? That's not, what the fuck? Dude, that guy in the pink shirt has the power of Zeus in his penis. Literally, when the guy in the front backed his tailbone into his penis, the bar snapped. That is crazy. Boink. Whoa. That's crazy, dude. Imagine how many bars he's broken like that. That looks practiced. Thanks. Oh no, what is he doing? <gasps> oh my God. I'm gonna watch that. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on here. First of all, why is that guy hugging him? Like that is some serious moral support. That is literally his swole mate right there, hugging him and giving him moral support. Did not help at all though. That bar snapped insanely. Anytime anyone could squat more than me, so if you squat more than two plates, I don't talk shit. Um, but the guy in question to me is the guy in the pink shirt behind him. I have never seen someone spot that closely unless they were twins or they were pen pals. So for this guy to go behind him and like grab him ever so, like he could smell his hair. He could smell what kind of shampoo he used. And then I think as the guy was sitting back to squat, the guy was kind of like pushing his pelvis forward too. That's, that's weird. I don't know if that's part of the Romanian system, but I've never seen it in America, but he is wearing American shorts. Oh shit. Isn't that Chris Duffin? Oh shit, Chris Duffin? What are you doing here? Damn, that guy's fucking strong, dude. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight plates. Oh fuck, eight plates fell off. Oh shit. Oh shit, the whole gym's falling down. Oh, there goes the bars. So this, this is actually a, uh, an elite lifter. Could possibly be that the guy using the monolift hasn't locked it in properly. They can be confusing if you're not used to using it, but the guy, I assume, would be used to using it. If this happened at Barbell, I'd be really angry because that's damaging a lot of stuff. The plates go flying, and then it hits some more bars, which again, aren't cheap. Yeah, that, luckily no one was hurt. That could have been really bad. Damn. That fool was squatting eight and a quarter plus some change. Is this our first Barbell Chris Duffin collab video? That's tight. Can I watch it again? Okay. What's up, Chris? Thanks. Awesome to be in a video with you. Wow, he smoked that though. Yo, rat. Uh oh. Oh, that's what he missed. He messed up right there. Oh, oh my God. I'm so. Oh, I was scared that people's feet were going to get crushed. Damn. I got to watch it one more time. Sorry. It was too crazy. Damn, that guy's so strong. It's gotta be like 900 pounds or something. 
He almost racks it, but he misses. Oh, the guy, oh, oh, his spotter fucked up. His spotter didn't hit the thing, the latches in time. So it actually moved away. So when Chris tried to rack it, he moved it away from him. It's kind of like that. You know that junior high prank when your buddy tries to sit down and he pulled the chair out? That's what his buddy did. And he's all trying to pretend like he didn't know what happened. What a motherfucker, dude. Oh no, he, ah, oh, oh, oh. He's just like, what the hell? Oh my God, can I rewatch that again? Oh, it's the band. <gasps> okay, I love that reaction though. He's just like, hmm, that was weird. Oh my God. Okay, oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. The whole rack just fell forward. Can I watch that one more time? What the fuck? Holy sh- Whoa! It just straight unracked him. And he has bands on? Dude, he's on that extreme west side. That's the most west side shit I've ever seen. Whoa. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about, about like that Alibaba equipment. You can't be having shit where the minute you unrack weights, the whole thing does a front flip. This is a competition deadlift. Oh, he tore his bicep. Oh no, poor guy. Oh, he tore his bicep deadlifting. Oh my God. Got a big ass dude. Uh oh, what the fuck? Oh no, he tore his bicep. Oh shit, he almost finished the lift too. Oh my God, he almost finished. And he tore it. Oh, you see it shoot up. Ow. Damn. I've never torn a bicep, but it looks really painful. <sighs> okay. That sucks. It's at a competition too. And I bet you it was his like third attempt. Probably trying to go for a world record. The problem that happens with a lot of strength sports is people neglect the little things like accessories and making sure that you're strengthening all parts of your body, not just the lifts, not just the muscles you need for the major lifts. And uh, when things aren't sitting right and things are tight and then you've got heavy weight reacting onto that, uh, things like this can happen and you, and you tear your bicep. Oh, another strong man, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> That's literally like epitome of my life this year. You think you're okay? You're like, you know what? I'm gonna take a step back. I'm I'm gonna recharge, and then life is just like boom. Remember me? Ma. Ah. Okay, log press. Oh, damn, this guy's strong. He's smoking him. Put it away. Everything looks really safe, right? What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? This one trying to take a nap in the middle of his set. Oh man, I think it's this guy's fault, dude. You can't be sleeping in the middle of your set. Okay, we got a lug press. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no. Gym manager Stan will be able to tell you this. Uh, whenever he does lug press, you start seeing stars um, just due to the blood pressure, the rise in blood pressure, and it can pretty much cause you to pass out um, or black out. And that's what happens to this guy. And you see, he does the lift, he brings it down, and then obviously he's like a little bit dizzy and he's a little loopy and so he falls down but as he's falling down he's pulling that that load back and it goes off the lift. Okay, so he does it, lifts it, and then tries to take a nap. Wait, did he take a nap or he passed out? Oh, he might have passed out. I'm so sorry, dude. Why are you passing out for? That's why you gotta take the Barbell Brigade multivitamin, dude, so you have the right nutrients. Damn, poor guy, hope he's okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and share with all your buddies. And let us know in the comments below so we can make more of them. And also, we have everything fully restocked, so make sure you go to barbellbrigade.com to get your rebirth hoodie in black, tees, supplements, everything. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, my name's Demi, and today we're reacting to, to whoa. <laughs> I have not slept. Okay, here we go.